Hello, Anouk. How are you doing? This is four-year-old Anouk from Wiltshire. She has a genetic condition called spinal muscular atrophy. It leads to a loss of nerve cells needed for walking, breathing and eating. Anouk was diagnosed at 18 months after her parents noticed her muscles were getting weaker. So there was question marks at the beginning about how long she would live for, um, what she'd be able to do, whether she'd be able to be independent at all. Our assumption was she would have to be in a, a motorised wheelchair from a very young age um, and that would be it, sort of forever. So it was, a, it was a huge shock, to say the least. Can you do that with me? There are now treatments available. Every four months, Anouk comes to the John Radcliffe Hospital in Oxford to have a drug injected into her spinal cord to help improve her muscle strength. She was unable to flip over and crawl at the beginning, and she can now stand up with help with us. She can walk independently. She can go to the loo on her own. All these things that we never thought she would be able to do. Professor Laurent Save says where SMA is detected and treated at birth, it can have significant results. If you treat the patients after the symptoms, then the patients may survive, they may improve, but they will remain with a very significant disability. If we can treat the patients at birth before symptoms, then they have the potential for a normal life. Spinal muscular atrophy can be diagnosed in newborns using a simple heel prick test. The US, Australia and much of Europe already screen for the condition. Now scientists in Oxford will analyse blood samples from thousands of babies in the Thames Valley as part of a three-year study. Sarah's 20 weeks pregnant and was asked by her midwife if she wanted to take part in the trial. I know the baby will have a blood test within the first week of its life anyway, so we're not asking anything extra of the baby and the disorder is one of those that the earlier you identify um, that it's there then you can treat it much more quickly and then prevent the progression so it, it was a simple choice for me really. The hope is SMA will be added to the UK's newborn screening programme and significantly improve the outcome for thousands of babies. Catherine de Costa, BBC South Today.